Welcome back. Today we're finally gonna build the Sidewinder for the Type 4 bug. Yeah, we're finally gonna do that. Yeah, I've been, I've been lagging on it. No, I didn't get my YouTube -y thingy, so I'm just gonna wing it and see how this is gonna work out. Um, we might have problems, we might not. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna try to keep this guy at the same location, uh, same width, same everything, so that it kinda bolts exactly the same as that. So if I wanna use the Sidewinder, the stainless steel muffler that goes right here, I'll be able to, if I ever want to make a lot of noise, which I don't really like it. Yeah, I don't like the, that's why I made this one. Yeah, it's got a catalytic converter and it's got a turbo muffler and it doesn't make a lot of noise and it doesn't stink rich because it's got a catalytic converter. So I might actually end up using this guy again, this baby. But anyways, yeah, let's get to it. Um, I don't have a lot of light left. I maybe about two hours, two, three hours before the light sets. So I'm gonna, let's see just how far I can get. We are working on the Type 4 again. We are actually going to remove, yeah, finally. Remember I said in my previous videos, I'm probably gonna be stuck for about a year. Yeah, it's been about a year. So <laughs> we are getting rid of that. We're gonna turn the exhaust into a sidewinder. This whole thing is gonna be shooting that way instead of that way. So we're gonna be cutting these guys and turning this MP Type 4 uh, exhaust system, we're gonna turn that into a Sidewinder. Yeah, this is for a Porsche 914 MP style exhaust system. Yeah, normally this whole thing, this exhaust is actually pointing in that direction because remember in the Porsche, this engine is actually the other way around that pulley is generally pointing in that direction so everything's backwards um, this is pretty much um, what we're gonna do uh, I've already got some marks here this is where I'm gonna cut this is garbage I'm gonna cut it right about there and then re-weld this guy onto here and then I'm gonna cut somewhere around here because this by that time this guy is gonna be straight going into here so I'm gonna keep these two I'm gonna keep this and this on the lower side of the collector and those guys I'm gonna make those go somehow in this direction and then turn around and hook up to this these collectors the top ones that's gonna be interesting I don't think I might I might not have enough tubing but I think I can go and hit the uh, I was gonna say Cragen, but I forgot they, they got that harder name to remember. O'Reilly's, there we go. Um, the O'Reilly's or AutoZone and get some of these, this pipe. I know they have this size, but I just need some straight pipe. Uh, if I have to make pie cuts, then I'll make pie cuts. But I think I can weasel my way around so that I can get everything to work using all this crap. Now the lengths are gonna change. So I expect this exhaust system to change the note. It's gonna sound like a WRX, which is kind of sucky. But, you know, I'm tired of this muffler. Uh, you can tell this thing has bottomed out a couple of times since I've, I've been driving it. And uh, one of the things that happened actually, because I bottomed out too many times, all my screws, like these screws right here, they came loose on all my, uh, on both of my heads so you know I'm just tired of that I'm tired of this crap I'm tired of that loud muffler I'm I just want some peace and quiet you know what I'm saying all right so I basically removed the whole exhaust system um, found out that it, I just can't do it with you know me, you know measure one cut one had to take everything out um, yeah here's one of them right there and the rest are over there right there and here's this doodad this doodad collector 
is going to go right about somewhere around there. So she's going to look bitchin'. And um, I already looked at the other one. Let me show you. This one, which is the 2234. I already know more or less where this is going to be. So I am going to try to keep this flange on um, that bug in about the same location. It's kind of, you know, I'm trying to copy it kind of like this. Obviously, it's not going to look like this pretty. Like, ooh, look at that, how pretty that is. It's just not going <laughs> to... It's just not going to look like that. <laughs> She's going to look like crap. But I'm probably going to, uh, what do you call it, uh, cover it up in, what you call it, <sighs> exhaust wrap so it doesn't look that bad. Now, I'm going to, uh, a friend of mine told me about um, uh, exhaust wrap that's not made out of fiberglass. And that stuff, I just hate that because I just removed the small piece that I was running on the other engine. And I've got it all over my hands and I just can't stand the itch. Yeah, I should be wearing glass gloves but apparently somebody hogged or hoarded all the freaking gloves at tool harbor freight i wonder why mm. you know i saw some lines people actually returning toilet paper and they were all being denied in other words you're screwed with one year's worth of toilet paper i've got my first line that i've measured so far so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it after i cut this there's no going back Like I said, no going back. Now I have to cut this right here because all I'm getting rid of is a slight bend right here so that I have a perfect uh, 45 degree angle uh, continuation of that too. Because that thing was like this, you know. I'm exaggerating it, but like that. But I want it to be exactly like that so it goes straight into the collector. This end will go in, into the collector. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that again. I'm not going to show you a lot of this stuff because it's measure, cut, and repeat. Measure, cut, and repeat. And there you go. Basically, I've already checked the other Sidewinder on the uh, T1. And basically, I figured out that that's where this line has to be right on the center of this block split area. There you go. <sighs> yeah. It's one of those days. So, this goes like this, which is six and a half inches. Six and a half inches right there. Perfect. To the center of the block. And so I need approximately to about there. I need five and three quarters. Yep. Five and three quarters piece right here. So I need I need five and three quarters. Yes, I got a total of six inches, no, total about, yeah, six inches before it starts to make a curve right here. So, I might actually use this one. That way I don't, I don't um, waste any tubing, because I might need more tubing. That's where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use this for maybe another uh, cut, because see, it's got more tubing that I could use for, for, I don't know, making pie cuts, you know? All right, let's go ahead and cut that one. Okay, so we've got that thing all, you know, supported. I'm going to go ahead and weld it right here. Give it a couple of tack welds and um, see how that goes. Hopefully it'll turn out strong enough to stay like that until it gets fully welded. All right, that is a good spot weld. And do another one over here, just in case. Man, this thing welds so good. Perfect. Let me see if I can get one more down here, because I really don't want this to move. Perfect. All right. That is, should be fully supported now. There you go, see? Woo! And that is the idea right there. Oh, she's gonna look good. She's gonna look good. 
All right, I'm gonna make the other one from here to this cylinder right here. So that would be number four going right there. So we got this one already cut. Let's see if I can put that in there. Look at, you, look at that. Perfect. Just got to make sure that the top is sealing properly. And it is. So I'm going to go ahead and tack that weld. Tack it. It should be the second one done. But I need the uh, I need torch. Z torch. Z magic torch. All right, guys, this is as far as I got. We were able to do both runners. That's how they look right now. Um, we got number three and number four cylinders done. These are going to be the hard ones to do because I have to somehow go from there and then over here up and then turn around right here and go back in. That's not going to be easy. Hopefully, I'll have, have enough material to do this. But... Um, yeah, this is where we're going to stop because it's just getting too dark. My sunlight is is uh, just about gone. All right, guys. Hasta mañana. And it's just like that. It's the next day. Um, yeah, this is more or less where I'm working on my third tubey thingy. Since we've got two of them running already. Okay. So... Yeah, this is all, I'm just repurposing the same exact tubing. This is actually very, this thing is very, very thick. This is like 20 gauge or 18 gauge. Let me think. Nah, it's 20 gauge. I just have to look at another, another pipe on the edge. Yeah, it's 20 gauge. Um, so this is going to go bye-bye, this piece right here. Actually, I might actually move it a little bit more this way. Just so I have room for, um, well, the exhaust pipe that comes off right here. And then I'm going to cut it right here so that I can swivel this pointing that way. It'll look, it'll make sense when, when you guys see it all together. But basically I need to swivel this uh, 45 degrees and I need to X this out of here. And I might have to move this attachment that I'm going to weld to here a little bit further this way to give me the room. Yeah, here we go again. So I'm just tacking these two pieces together. Yeah, it's like I cut a huge piece out of here, make it shorter so it would fit. So I'm just tacking it together here. Okay, that should be enough. See, I'm not gonna be welding this. Uh, my son's gonna weld these, but I have another tack there, another tack there. This is a failed tack I uh, yeah I got it I didn't get it aligned I have lines that you can barely see now they got smoked but yeah so I can you know because this is a kind of off see to where it's kind of off so that way we can get um, the tubing to go in there so we're gonna go ahead and actually see how this is turning out okay right about here we're gonna cut it and extend it somewhere over here so that it goes down and meets this guy. And then this one is gonna go around or it could go this way. Oh, yeah. This is a, what you call it? It's a Picasso. It's gonna be a Picasso. <laughs> a Picasso. Viva Picasso. Okay, yeah, anyways, that's more or less what's going on. Yeah, I went ahead and sanded it, but it's all pitted and stuff, you know. Eh, whatever. So the idea is something like that for the turd, the turd, <laughs> the turd runner. Yeah, let's just call it a turd. 
the third runner it'll be connected to that like that and the other one's gonna go through here right through right between my hand and the block it'll go up and it'll hook up to that right there there you go I just tack welded those yeah don't laugh Yee. yeah I'm not doing the welding I'm not doing the final welding <laughs> it's just to get it all kind of sort of tacked up and stuff okay so she's got a loop up she goes deep and right back into the collector that is three now I have to work on my fourth which is number one cylinder and we'll see how I'm gonna run the pipe from here because I'm gonna I actually changed my mind I didn't want this guy over here like way over here whoops like way over here because I'm trying to redesign my uh, what you call it my exhaust system so I might actually be able to run a little bit more options you know giving me more room and you know lengths and stuff and I can change everything around here so that I like the way the whole thing runs afterwards does that make any sense I'm not making any sense you ever got you guys ever have one of those days when and this started yesterday where my mind is just cluttered and and I haven't been able to clear it out got so many things on my mind no not the coronavirus I don't really give a hoot about that we're all gonna get it okay so here's another look on cylinder number two dos. yeah cylinder number two uh, She's all teched and ready to get welded. Um, yeah, I did screw up right here. Yeah, my angle was not um, on and I didn't have another, you know, pipe to kind of fix it. So ah, screw it. So I'll just put a wedge in there. <laughs> Whatever, you're not gonna be able to see that. See, cause it's on the side that you can't see. There you go. Plus it's gonna be uh, wrapped. It's gonna be a, a Picasso, okay? This is gonna be a Picasso of a Sidewinder. So this is more or less how this YouTube that I thought I wasn't gonna use, but it looks like I am, but okay, I'm gonna continue this thing. Like yay, up to about here, and then it's gonna come straight down and right to cylinder number one. That's the idea. I'm gonna tack weld this right here, you know, like here and here just to keep it from moving and then I'll make the elbows right here 45 degree elbows and another 45 going that way going that way and it should be fine landed in my leg ah that is one turn that one over here There we go. Much better. <clears throat> All right. So normally this would be a slam dunk, right? Uh, right there. Oh yeah, we got it going, and we just get it. We just get the pipe to go up in a forty-five degree angle up, and then elbow, and it should connect to this exhaust. But see, I don't want this here. It's just in the way for the tubing that's going to be going for the exhaust system so see it's just blood ugly and normally that's how it goes but i don't like it so i think i'm going to cut it off and my problem is this see i don't want to cut it from here and then re-weld the pipe to this because it's just not going to have enough room for the bolts and nuts so basically what I want is this going that way that way 45 going this way that should take care of the problem okay you know what I think I am gonna cut it that's I don't see any other way I'm just gonna cut this repurpose a, a uh, an elbow and we'll see where we go from there an elbow uh, 45 degree elbow this could be a total disaster one pipe all the other ones were relatively easy, but this one's turning out to be harder. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is actually I'm just banging the heck out of it with a screwdriver and a hammer. And I'm removing that that inner part of the tube of the uh, flange so that I can work another 45 degree angle in there and weld it 
whatever angle I want. And then it has the strength, you know, because it's inside the flange. It'll have the strength. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Um, I'm almost there. Woo. This is very, very hard. I'm not showing you this because it's just banging and cursing and more banging <laughs> and more cursing. <laughs> this is very thick uh, tubing. This that's that's why it's really really difficult. Anyway, I'm gonna continue on my journey. But yeah, look at that. I almost got all of it out. Woo. Anyways, had to use my Dremel on that very edge, and uh, she yeah, she's. <sighs> so basically, this is gonna go something like this. You know, it'll go inside, welded from the outside, and we should be good. We should be good. I've got the flange bolted up nice and tight because I want to make sure that it's not going to move. And I'm just going to use this as a as an example. This is not what I'm going to use because this one is pretty much it's smashed through there. And that that is no bueno. So basically it's going to go kind of like this. Kind of like that. Obviously it needs to be higher because it's kind of too low. Let's see? Too low. And basically going to shoot up through here. And then connect to this pipe right here. And that should complete my sidewinder. And apparently I have plenty of bends like this. So I'm going to repurpose this old MP And turn it into the sidewinder. And plus I've got that mean old donut that went around right here. It's, uh, it's on the grass and the lawn. And I'm going to cut it. I can get more uh, uh, 45 degree angles to finish this whole project. All right. So far, I've got those two pieces right here, this one and this one, welded, tack welded. Um, I still haven't welded this one because I want to make sure I have moving room or whatever, you know, just to adjustment available before I tack everything. So now we need an elbow. We need an elbow, a 45 degree elbow going up. Actually, it's probably going to be less than 45, so that it has like a like a swoop a sideways going from here to there and we'll have a 45 up here though right here we'll have a 45 coming down and right here we'll have like a partial 45 uh we'll call that like a <laughs> half of 45 is about 22 degrees like 20 22 and a half degrees that should get me that you know that angle to this Ba bam I went ahead and tacked this one right here so she's almost done just the downspout connects to this it's gonna be like this and all I need is a partial little elbow that I have to cut which I've got plenty of angles all right guys I'm almost done I just need to do a final tacking on the bracket this tubing it's just there it's not welded but basically that is my little elbow right there that we just made so this whole sidewinder sidewinder is all done I still have to cut the other uh, brackets that are on the other um, pipes so that I can transfer them over to here so that you know they clamp over and they don't fall apart. I have to do another one on the other side, which you can't see, but we'll do that later on when it's out. <laughs> and um, yeah, that is it. Okay, so I just cut this little bracket off the other tube and I'm gonna weld it onto this tube. Um, just gonna tack it because, yeah, I just want professional welds because this is gonna show and I, I, I am not a professional. <laughs> now, if you look closely, See, I could probably move move this in and out. See? See? And we can't have that. We can't have that. Uh, this is actually what keeps the whole thing bolted here, uh, keeping it from blowing out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to do the other one on the other side. Just tack it out in place. And that should be it. One more tack.
There we go. All right, she's done. I'm gonna do the upper bracket and I'll take it all out. And there you have it. A branch banking new Sidewinder. Well, at least it's new to the car, but the parts are just freaking old and rusty. I haven't sanded that one. That still looks like crap. Let's see, still looks like crap. Uh, up to about here. Then it kind of looks okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, I've got that one welded. I've got this one. This one welded. Everything needs to be welded and uh, so it can be set permanent. Okay, so he's doing the final welds. Um, you know, I could have done them, but my welds would look like a new guy did it, you know? So I just figured uh, I let him do it since he knows how to do this stuff. That's what he does. So he's doing the welding. Man, this welder totally rocks. It is awesome, senor. Okay, so I already got my tubies all sanded out. So they look kind of sort of okay. They're not a rust buckets like those. Uh, I'm still going to tie wrap it with that new uh, tie wrap that is not, uh, what do you call it, made out of fiberglass. Because, yeah, those kind of suck when you touch it. And there's a new one. Like I said, my friend told me about it. I'm going to order a whole roll from uh, Amazon. It's made out of like some sort of a new material that is not fiberglass and it doesn't get on your hands and, and uh, body and prickle you to death. Prickle you to death. All right, so he's doing that. I'm going to wait until he's done so I can put all of this stuff together and back in the bug. I still don't know where I'm going to make the O2 sensor bung. I might do it on the collector or I might actually do it on the exhaust itself. Do you know what I mean? I'm getting ready to put this thing back in. She's all welded. Everything's been welded. Yeah, see, those welds are much, much better than what I do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this back on. And um, I'm, I, don't, I still don't know if I'm gonna put the O2 sensor here or over here, you know, in the uh, exhaust tube. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna put this on. All right, last bolt. And we're all done. <sighs> Alright. She's done. She's completely done. Um, this is the way it looks. She's done, done, done. Done, done, done. I'm thinking I'm actually going to use my ugly, disgusting, annoying muffler. Right here. Shooting straight out this way. Simply because I don't have time. See, the sun is setting right now. And I don't have time to build the muffler. But that's the way it looks. Like that. Took care of the thing right there. Those are the neighbors, my next door neighbors, that have motorcycles. Yeah, they're having fun and I'm not. That's not fair. Anyways, Sidewinder. Ta-da. I knew I could do it. And I did it. And you can do it too. If you put your mind to it, put the intention out, and you'll do it. Remember, everything starts with an intention. You work on the intention, and you follow through the intention. Okay, there's my ugly muffler. We're going to cut that again. Cut it, and put it back. Just put it back. Put it back. Oh, I forgot. I already stored the cutoff wheel. Uh, time to go get it again. I'm going to go get it out again. Bring it out and chop that thing. Yeah, that's the moon. Pretty. Oh, yeah, and that's Venus right there to the bottom right. <sighs> yeah, I ran out of sunlight. But, yep, it's done. So, basically, we've recut that thing and straightened it out again. And, um... Now it's a tooting side, side tutor. A side tutor. <laughs> it's a tutor horn to the side. It actually looks bitter. Actually, I kind of like it. I like it that way. Man, I wish I had better light. But yeah, there you go. See? 
Sidewinder to the side. Turn that impy exhaust manifold and turn it into a Sidewinder. Repurposed most of the metals, most of the tubes, and uh, only one U-tube that I had to get. And the other one I'm going to cancel, obviously, because it hasn't gotten here, so I'm just going to cancel it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, how beautiful it is. Oh. Oh. There you go. That's that side. Let's go to this side. And that is that side. I still have to uh, wrap it in uh, exhaust wrap. But uh, so it doesn't look that, that uh, grungy looking. Because, you know, it's, uh, it's really pitted. Rust pitted. But yeah, you could say that's battle scars. You know, spin around, whatever. But yeah, it's going to the side. My right, question is, how's that going to sound? Hmm? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's turn it on now. See how it sounds. You know what? I don't, I do not hear any, uh, what you call it, uh, WRX sound. I thought it was going to sound like that. If you guys like it, it's not bad. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So there you go, guys. We turned that MP thingy into a sidewinder. I know everybody could do it because I didn't know how I was going to cross that bridge in many areas. As a matter of fact, look at my battle scar. It's just skin. Just skin, don't freak out, it's just the skin. Anyways, you guys can do all that stuff yourselves if uh, if you already have a uh, exhaust, an aftermarket exhaust system on your Type 4, you can repurpose that uh, exhaust for, uh, ex yeah, exhaust Type 4 manifold and make it work on your bug. Um, I did, it wasn't that hard. On a scale of one to 10, I would call this an eight because it's very intricate little elbows and stuff that you have to cut at the right size and right angles, all that stuff. But this is not that hard, okay? Anybody can do this, just be patient. You know, measure twice, cut once. Uh, as far as money, I saved, you know, close to $1,000 just on the header. The header alone is about a thousand bucks, including shipping. Um, so I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna do that, hell no. So uh, it's done, all right? Stay tuned for North, for the uh, next videos. It'll probably be the oil thermostat and uh, some other stuff. Oh yeah, the uh, oxygen sensor is gonna go back on there. Be creative. Adios muchachos and muchachas.